it is Friday, I am working from home today and I have the wonderful task of rereading my thesis ready for my Viva. So my Viva is soon, it's in like a couple of weeks, um, but I'm going away next week so I thought I'd take the opportunity to kind of do my re-reading of the thesis today, make some notes and then the week of my Viva I'm going to do a little bit more prep and just make sure that I can articulate things correctly and um, just brush up on some of the general like platelet biology stuff that we kind of forget when we get more and more specific into a project. So yeah, that's my plan. Um, my thesis is massive. I printed it off. It's not double-sided, but I think when I officially print it off, I'm gonna do it double-sided, but I do need to um, sort out the formatting um because you need to do like a flip-flop margin to be able to do that it's all very complicated and a bit confusing but i'm going to do that when it comes to sorting out corrections and then submitting the final product so to speak and printing it in the leads bound hardback bound uh yeah printing it and getting it bound in the leads color uh, which is really nice. It's green and gold embossed, so it's very, very pretty. Uh, cost a fortune to print, like, but, you know, worth it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you my thesis. This is my Viva coffee. Um, massive. So I guess when it's going to be, like, printed and bound properly, it'll be, like, this thick, um, because it'll be double-sided. But this is single-sided because I didn't want to mess around with the formatting. I just printed what I had submitted. So it's the PDF that I submitted and this has been printed. Um, and oh boy, I found lots of stupid mistakes. N not science mistakes, but it's a bit cringy reading it and being like, Oh Beth, I thought you proofread this. And I did, but I was very tired and it was all on screen. And it is completely different when you read a physical book. I don't know why, it's just, it's just mad. Um, but yeah, so I'm a bit like, ugh, and I keep having moments of, huh, it's soon, um, which it is, but it will be fine. Um, I just, I think it's more about the fear of the unknown, which is getting to me a little bit more. And I have this constant fear and I'm trying to work on it. But in this particular situation, where they ask me a question and I don't know the answer. Like I give lots of advice about like answering questions after giving a presentation and things like that. And I always say like, don't blag it. If you don't know the answer, just say that you're not sure, but you'll look into that. But I feel like it, it seems weird to say that when it's your viva to be like, oh, I'm not sure I'll look into that because it feels so kind of like final and like the end of a project that it's like, well, am I gonna look into that? I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting into my head a little bit. I keep having moments. I felt a bit weird yesterday, but today I feel a bit better. So yeah, I've got admin bits to do this morning and then I need to nip into town and then I'm going to do the reading and notes for the thesis, um, which I'm probably not going to do at my desk because I'll probably fall asleep. So I think I'm going to have to like switch it up um, for the reading. So Right, I'm about to just nip into town to get my dad a birthday card and then I'm responsible for watering my friend's plants whilst away so I don't want to kill them. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, let's go. I have definitely procrastinated. Um, I just done an Instagram post. I went and got a card for my dad and then got some of the cards and bits and bobs in town and then watered my friend's plants. Um, made an absolute mess because one of the plants had a drainage hole in the bottom of the pot. 
um, which I didn't know about. Um, so I just drenched the place a little bit. So I had to tidy that up. So it took a little bit longer than I expected. Um, and now I'm just going to work on a abstract for a conference. Um, it's kind of weird. You have to like apply. So you have to send an abstract, obviously, but you also have to write a statement uh, talking about your scientific activities and why this conference will be beneficial to you. So that's weird. Um, but yeah, I hope I get to go to the conference. Um, it's in Italy and I've actually never been abroad for a conference and it's kind of one of the perks of being in academic research but I've not managed to do it because of Covid and then the international conference that I went to this year was actually in London uh, which is very good but it's you know I didn't get that experience of traveling abroad uh, so I would like to do that there's two conferences that I want to go to next year um, so I might have to apply for some travel grants because my funding means I won't be able to do both um, but we'll see, I would like to go to both but yeah, I need to crack on with that because um, I just keep procrastinating I've done a lot of emails today, a lot of emails um, but yeah, time to crack on <laughs> I'm just gonna edit a YouTube video, um, well I'm not gonna edit it, I've already edited it, I just need to get everything set up and uploaded onto YouTube because I keep forgetting about it um, and I've been wanting to post it for ages but busy brain, busy brain. Um, but yeah, I managed to write my abstract and write my scientific activities um, I've just emailed my supervisor to see whether he wants to see it or whether I can just go and submit it. I'm hoping that I can just go and submit it because I just want to submit it today as I'm away next week. Um, I don't want to have to do any extra work next week um, whilst I'm not around. So I'm hoping I can just do it today. Look at this relaxer cat. She's just so chill. I wish I was napping, babe. I wish I was napping. Oh, stretchy, stretchy. She is not happy with me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> why is she so cute? She's like, Mom, stop, stop filming me. What's the point of working from home if you can't annoy your own pets? I'm going to have some lunch. I've just uploaded a video ready to publish soon. So I've done that. And then after lunch, I'm going to do thesis writing. So I probably should have done my thesis stuff this morning, but there was just loads of things that I kept putting off that I just needed to do today. But I'll be able to do the reading of my thesis this afternoon I'm just going to do it and um I'm going to read it in the living room I'm going to get myself comfy make my notes hey um yeah so it's fine I've kind of done things in the order that I don't normally do it because I usually do like the main priority first which would be the thesis reading but I just yeah I had bits and bobs that I needed to do and they were bugging me so I thought I should just get them done Hey, I'm going to have some lunch. What are you going to do? Okay. Food it is. So I have completely been procrastinating. I've just watched a couple of YouTube videos and I had a very long lunch. It's now 10 to 2 and I need to finish reading this and making notes. So I'm going to do it. I will do it. I have to do it. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm just procrastinating, but we, we can do it. Let me read some more mistakes that I have made. We 
We are almost there. I've got one more chapter. No, I have two more chapters to read. I've got a chapter and then my conclusion and future studies. Yeah, we're almost there. Um, I've spotted loads of stupid stuff like writing the wrong statistical test in my figure caption. I've gone through and written the correct ones, um, but yeah. Idiot. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, I don't know if this has been exciting or insaning. Um, me just cringing at reading my thesis. Um, but it just goes to show that we're only human. No one is perfect. I'm a recovering perfectionist. Um, so yeah, it cringe. It makes me cringe a little bit, but it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. Um, yeah, only human. Published books get like rounds of editing and support and some of them end up having like typos and stupid weird phrasing things so I kind of did this all my own and my supervisor read it as well um I didn't really have a huge amount of time to like get more people to read it in hindsight I should have really got people other people to read it um but the mistakes are not the science it's just some writing mistakes um rather than science I think it's obviously more worrying slash concerning if the science is wrong um which it's not it's just me not being able to type or proofread um but yeah I cringe and I digress I'll be fine um preparing for a viva is weird and it's just this kind of like fear of the unknown but it'll all be okay. I hope you have a great day and I hope you take some time out to relax and do whatever you need to do um, that makes you happy in your day um, and also don't be too hard on yourselves. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.